Hey YouTubers, it's Platt, and the beer we're going to talk about today is a Belgian-style blonde ale. Uh, let me go over the numbers real quick. SRM's 4 to 7, so this is a light-colored uh, beer. Uh, IBU's 15 to 13, kind of the low, medium-ish in as far as hot bitterness. Uh, ABV 6.3 to 7.9. Uh, one thing when you get into Belgian beers, you'll notice they are not afraid of alcohol in their beer. And we're going to serve this beer around 45 to 50 degrees, um, chilled, but even though it's a lighter beer, we're not going to throw this in a frosted mug. Uh, this particular beer is a light to medium bodied ale. And part of the reason is in some of these beers, they'll add additional sugars. Now, sugars will lighten up the body and it also provides a little boost to the ABV. Um, the particular ale that is used in this beer produces some spicy notes, a fruity ester, kind of funkiness, and you'll notice that in other uh, Belgian beers too. Uh, Color-wise, pale to light amber, that's a, a blonde ale. Um, medium to medium plus carbonation, you're going to get plenty of bubbles and a nice head on most of these beers. Um, mild alcohol on this uh, particular beer. Um, not, you're not going to get a burning sensation or warming. But you also not want to, want to knock these backs like, like a Bud Light or a Coors Light. Um, soft to medium body, and like I said, part of that's due to, you know, sometimes addition of additional sugars. And with that soft body, you're going to get a short finish to this beer. Um, this beer goes particularly well with uh, sweet and sour chicken and angel food cake. Uh, the one we're going to try today is Lef Blonde. I've added the Lef. In Belgium, this is available year round and it comes in at 6.6 .6 ABV. So let's give her a try. All right, one of the first things we notice we already got a nice head, uh, kind of an off white, you can almost say very light khaki color to it. Um, this particular blonde has. A little more amber kind of color to it. Um, you probably can't see on the tape, but we've got plenty of fast rising bubbles, and this is a fairly clear beer. Yeah, you're, you get a lot of sweetness on there. Very, very vague, any of the hops. So I like to say this is not a highly hot beer. Let's give her a taste. This is definitely a sweeter beer. Um, you can definitely taste, I'm not sure if this particular brand has additional sugars in it, but you can taste the sweetness on this beer. Hits you right up in front of the tongue. Short finish, not much in the back of your mouth. Um, very nice body though. Um, very pleasant, goes down easy. Um, don't, don't catch the alcohol, but I guess Partly because I drink a lot of beers, I know with that amount of maltiness in there and, and the sweetness that there's there's additional ABV that comes with that, I guess. I did, do get some of the fruity funkness. Um, you get sometimes in some of these beers pick up like almost like a banana. It's sweet, but it's not over the top sweetness. It's a kind of a funkier sweetness to use that term too much. Um, but very nice, very drinkable beer. Um, this is something I could see as a, almost a sundown type beer, you know, in uh, late spring or Indian summer. Or out here in Vegas, it could be an early morning beer, sun up beer. Um, overall, these are very pleasant, very drinkable beers. Um, probably a good beer to start out with the Belgians before you get into the big triples and doubles and whatever this is probably a good introduction also this would be, be a good beer for those people that drink your Budweiser's Coors Miller's or whatever I think that drinker would even appreciate this you know before you try an IPA or anything like that probably could break them into something like this first well I hope you like this video if you did please subscribe down below also feel free to link comments questions or concerns in the comment section or you can contact me on the Twitter page well, until next time Bottoms up.